Hey y'all, Brian Thacker, Natural Self Yoga. Today, this video, we're gonna do Pincha Maya Rasana. So, this is a pose, it's one of my favorite poses because I always feel like it seems like it's a little bit impossible. Uh, and it feels weird when your feet are up in the air and your forearms are down. It's also a pose that took me a long time to build into. So, uh, I would recommend doing headstands and getting comfortable with headstands uh, and doing it at the wall at first. I used to crash all the time, crashing on my head, when I didn't have enough strength in my shoulders. So uh, if you don't have enough strength in your shoulders, it's a good idea to just work towards building strength in your shoulders. If you crash on your head, it really puts a lot of pressure on your neck, and I frightened my teachers quite a bit uh, when I was trying to build the strength in, into doing that. Uh, but now it's a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm a little bit better at doing it. Well, I'm a lot better at doing it. Uh, so it's, it's something that's fun. What you can do, you doing it in a dolphin pose. A lot of people also ask me whether or not they're supposed to be straight up and down. A lot of my students, uh, they wonder whether their feet are supposed to be forward a little bit or back a little bit because it's not like a handstand when everything's stacked directly on top of each other. It's not like a headstand, everything's stacked directly on top of each other. Your forearms are down and your, your shoulders are still over your elbows a little bit. But just to start off here, we're gonna do uh, dolphin pose. This is where it comes from. It comes from right here. You're gonna, it's like a downward facing dog except for you're on your elbows. So if you don't have the strength in your shoulders, this is the pose where I want you to stay and where my teachers wanted me to stay and I didn't listen to them, but that's my fault, not theirs. Um, so just stay right here, building strength. And when I'm cueing a class, I, I put people in this pose and then I give them the option. They can stay here if they want to. It's building strength in your shoulders. This is dolphin pose. Or you can do dolphin push-ups, forehead, chin, forehead, chin, forehead, chin, forehead, chin. That's also going to build strength in your shoulders. All right, so from here, maybe you can walk your feet in just a little bit. If you're in a dolphin pose and you feel comfortable here, you feel strong here, walking in, looking forward, it's going to help. And then maybe lifting one leg, see how that feels. All right, and then that foot comes down, maybe lifting the other leg, see how that feels. And then that foot comes down. Now, if you feel comfortable, go ahead and lift both feet up. See if I can do this the first time. Whoops. Yep, I got it. Good. All right. Now, I'm doing the same thing that I was doing in our dolphin pose, building strength in my shoulders. So it's just a little bit more strength. Notice my feet, they're mostly straight up and down. But, if I want to come into the scorpion pose, I need to bring my head forward. Bring my head forward, and then bend the knees. Alright? Getting the back bend, breathing, coming forward. So you don't have to be straight up and down. You can always adjust depending on where your center of gravity is. You can come all the way over. Eventually, I've got a ways to go, but eventually you'll be able to touch your feet to your head. But that's a back bend. So that's not the forearm stand pincha. This becomes our scorpion. But again, it's just a lot of fun. Okay? And then coming down and breathe, shaking out your shoulders. So you can play with that when everybody else is in dolphin pose. You can come up into it and work on your balance. If you're not strong enough and you don't have your balance, your balance also comes from your core. Having a really strong core is going to help for that as well. What you can do, you can go to a wall space and then bring your mat to a wall space at the end of class or whenever you're working on your inversions at home. Bring your hands down and then you just go straight up to the wall. All right. So you get up to the wall, and you breathe, and then you just work on building your strength from here, and your balance. Pitch in my rocks in a forearm stand. It's fun because people don't really think that you're supposed to be able to do that. The body is supposed to be able to do that. But once you build the strength in the shoulders, it's really not any more difficult than a headstand. So once you build the strength in the core, you can do a headstand. So once you can do a headstand, your core strength is there so that you can go ahead and balance. You just have to work on your shoulder strength. And then from there, you move all the way up into handstands. And it's just a process. Again, it's not any, you don't win a trophy, you don't win a championship, uh, you don't beat anybody, and you don't lose anything if you can't do it. You just keep trying until you can. It's a lot of fun trying. Enjoy the journey. 
Once again, Brian Thacker, Natural Self Yoga, Pinchamayarasana, with a little bit of a scorpion variation as well as support from the wall. So stay in your dolphin pose until you build strength in your shoulders and your core, and then just have a good time with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me. Hopefully it's a lot of fun for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Brian Thacker, Natural Self Yoga. Namaste. Have a great day.